Well, hello everyone. This is Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island in Bluffton, South Carolina. Today is January 15th, 2017, and we're in Bluffton, on the west side of Bluffton in Grandy Oaks, a community of just about 100 home sites that would be attractive to someone who doesn't want the frills of all of the amenities and higher fees. There's only about 100 homes here in Grandy Oaks. The annual fee is between 250 to 350 a year. Uh, we'll go into more detail on that. Uh, this home at number 22 Long Lake Drive is uh, for sale today at just $295,000 with Century 21 Advantage Properties. And I'm showing it to you as a buyer's agent with 41 years of Hilton Head Island and Bluffton real estate experience. This home, 22 Long Lake Drive, has 1,826 square feet, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, a sunroom, two car garage. Uh, it is uh, modern and contemporary in most every way, even though it was built in 2003. We'll walk through and you can see for yourself. Before we do that, let's just go ahead and take a look around the neighborhood. And again, Grandy Oaks is a community of few homes, large lots. It's attractive to people who want to be away from it all in the sense that they want space between themselves and their neighbors. They want to have a large lot. They um, don't want those annual fees. And this community has no swimming pool, no tennis courts, no clubhouse. You're on your own and you just don't pay those high fees. Well, Again, my name is Richard Kadish, it's K-A-D-E-S-C-H, and my company is Go Gated Realty, as in gated communities. And I'm the gated community specialist, ladies and gentlemen. And both Go Gated Realty and Gated Community Specialist are federally registered trademarks. Well, I think I've already said, however, that Grandy Oaks is not a gated community. It's for people who want to get away from that. And this is the only home for sale here today in Grandy Oaks. They just don't come up very often. Uh, I like it. I'm here because I get in inquiries about homes in this price range all the time. And there's always a certain number of people who just don't want those annual fees. Well, this one has hardy plank exterior. We have vinyl clad windows with interior mullions. We have mature landscaping. We have a private wooded view and again a large home site of 0.68 acres. We have a covered front porch, a sunroom behind. Let's go take a closer look at our interior. It's a good use of the interior space in my opinion. It has a contemporary but a bit of a traditional floor plan as well. Living room straight ahead with those double doors, looking out to the sunroom, straight back to our wooded view. Immediately to the left, our dining room. And we have great lighting in this house. I notice there's a lot of uh, uh, LED lights. There's uh, uh, a great light fixtures. We have flat ceilings. We have tray ceilings. We have ceiling fans. There's a lot going on here. We have window coverings, which are already installed and included. We have contour light fixtures. We have wood panel doors. And this house to me looks like it has been owner occupied. Uh, you can tell when someone's uh, had a rental property versus an owner occupied property. The owner occupied properties of course are better cared for. Uh, the walls look very fresh. I don't think they've been freshly painted for this sale but they look like they could have been, they're that good. And clearly there is where your uh, media center would be for your TV and other displays. Again, the living room has your ceiling fan and immediately to the right there is both your second and third bedroom as well as the garage. We do have a coat closet in the foyer there to the right. But before we go over and take a closer look at that side of the house, Let's take a look at the left side. We have the master bedroom straight back to the far left. Before we go there, let's see the kitchen. It's immediately to the left side of the house and has our maple cabinets, 
the light brown color. We have Corian countertops, including an island. We have tiled floors with the soft beige color. We'll see this again in the both bathrooms as well as the laundry. And we have a breakfast area here at the front. Very sunny breakfast area. And of course, that's where we take most of our meals. We know that we don't eat in those formal dining rooms, but the homes, many of the homes still have them, as does this one. There's always people who want to have that big formal dining table for the Thanksgiving dinners and other big events. Well, this is a beautiful situation here with this bay window. And again, you have the soft shades already installed that can pull down. And of course, that's several thousand dollars worth of window coverings right there. And this then is your kitchen, ladies and gentlemen, complete with ceiling fans, beadboard, breakfast bar, the black and stainless appliances look like new and very well might be. We have uh, beautiful plumbing hardware here, swan neck and the rinse device at the end, stainless steel sink, good looking cabinetry here with lots of little extras. Ceramic top on our range. The microwave set very high. Whirlpool is the brand of the refrigerator, Frigidaire, the uh, range top, and GE is our microwave. And then I might as well check the uh, dishwasher. Well, it's over here. It's a uh, stainless steel GE. All looking good. The uh, Pantry is over here with the wire shelves. Well-designed kitchen. This is a good use of space in my opinion. The floor plan is uh, very attractive, very warm. It's very contemporary and yet it's a traditional contemporary. Here's our master bedroom with recessed lights, ceiling fan, tray ceiling, crown molding up into the tray. Two windows on the side and the bedroom areas are all carpeted in this house. I would say if there was one upgrade that kind of jumps out at me and that would be that the carpet could use replacing. And here's our master private bathroom. We have the uh, closets left and right of the central soaking tub there which is a cultured marble surround. And the window gives you the view out to the back. Lots of privacy here. It's a large yard, but lots of privacy with the wooded view. And we have a double vanity cultured marble top with the integral basins. And again, we have the light brown cabinets. We have the sandy colored floor, tile floor. And those are medallions which are tile. Those are not throw rugs. Those are tile medallions built into the floor, large fixed wall mirror, and we have a separate shower as well, also with the cultured marble. Cultured marble is a man-made product, ladies and gentlemen. It's quartz dust mixed with resin. It's big slabs that can be fabricated, fabricated as needed. People like them because they're very durable, they're pretty, and they don't have the grout lines that you get with ceramic tile. And that's what you have here on your uh, countertop, on your shower, and around your tub. Here's the uh, closet for him or her. Take your choice, they're both about the same size. We have a second one, just like the other one over here. Good sized closet. And then our water closet here with the commode has the window. This house has a lot of attractive features, ladies and gentlemen. Again, it's just listed at $295,000, 1,826 square feet. Looks to me like it's just a perfect retirement home uh, or for anyone who just doesn't need a big house and doesn't want to have big uh, costs to carry it. You know, the more uh, manageable size is going to bring you your lower uh, utility bills. It's going to bring you your lower insurance costs. Generally easier to maintain. 
Now, one thing about Grandy Oaks is that the community also has um, well water and septic. Now, I must say that there's a lot of buyers that I speak with who are not interested in that whatsoever, but others, well, it's fine. Again, you're going to save money on your utilities because the well water uh, is, uh, is going to, I believe, be a savings over the public utility and your septic the same way. This is our second bedroom, good size, our second bathroom. This has the uh, fiberglass tub and shower combination with the high window. Everything looks fresh and clean. Thermofoil cabinets looking very good. Wood panel doors, brushed metal knobs, good looking house. Lots of windows that are bright, allow the sun to come in, it's bright. Here we are, it's December, uh, January 15th and we're up to about 70 degrees today. Truly a beautiful day to be out looking at houses in the Hilton Head and Bluffton area. And uh, you're not alone in considering this area, ladies and gentlemen. I read that we are the 11th fastest growing county in the United States. Most of that is because of what's going on right here in Bluffton, which is midway between Savannah, Georgia, the beaches on Hilton Head Island and Buford. Also a short drive over to the Savannah Hilton Head International Airport. Now here's our laundry and these are LG machines and they are included in the sale. All the appliances that you see remain with the sale. Two car garage with the automatic door opener. It is a finished garage. Your water heater is located in the garage. There is a drop down stairway there for storage up over your garage. And someone's left some cabinets here for a bit of a workbench, if that's what you like. Let's go out back, see what the yard looks like. This um, Looks like it's been integral to the house from day one and not just added on. It's a carpeted sunroom that is about the size of a covered porch, but it does have your heating and air registers there. Beautiful beadboard ceiling. Again, with a ceiling fan, sliding door with two windows. Really a beautiful room. This would be just ideal as a home office or any number of things. Sitting room, exercise room or just good old sunroom. That's the versatility of a sunroom. And how about this location? It is just absolutely dead quiet out here. So the lot goes on back. You can see where the neighbor's fence goes back to the uh, trees there. So the lot would go back to about that same corner and then across the back over to the right side, goes back pretty far. Goes back to where it's cleared there. The house is clearly, and the yard, have clearly been taken care of very well. It sits on high ground. The roof looks to be in good condition. Clearly this is a neighborhood that for those of you who have pets and want to have a fenced yard, clearly that would be allowed here in Grandy Oaks. That's G-R-A-N-D-E, Oaks, Grandy Oaks, in Bluffton, South Carolina. Well, what do you think of this house? Is this what you're looking for? Are you looking to have something with low fees, larger lots, no frills? Well, please call me. Let's talk about what you're looking for in the home and community that you want. Again, I'm a buyer's agent, ladies and gentlemen. I don't work for Century 21 Advantage Properties. I work for you with the right agreement, of course, which is easy to do because I'm only paid at closing if you buy and when you close by the commission, which is already in the price of every listed home for sale and also new built. An awful lot of my buyers come to me and make it clear straight up front, hey, we want a brand new house. 
we were ready to build. And of course, I used to be a licensed South Carolina home builder, so I love the building process. I love helping my buyers through that process with any number of the local builders. And I'm uh, able to help you on all of that from A to Z. So we compare resale homes, communities. We talk about the various fees and costs. We talk about the challenges and benefits of new construction. Well, I'm here to help you with all of that on your side as a buyer's agent. And I look forward to meeting with you. So please call me or email. Here's my contact information. My cell number is area code 843-684-2933. And my uh, email address, rich at gogated.com. That's R-I-C-H at G-O-G-A-T-E-D.com. And my website is gogated.com. And at gogated.com, you can see and research on your own all of the area MLS properties. I certainly invite you to do that. And even better, I would recommend that you call or email let me know what your interests are. Let me send you a list targeted to your needs of all of the homes and communities in the area that meet your budget, the size you're looking for, the type of lifestyle that you want to have when you're here. So many of my buyers are working with that transition from selling their home to coming down here either in relocation, retirement, have lots of questions. Well, I have advice that you can trust, ladies and gentlemen, based on 41 years of working in real estate here in the area. So please keep me in mind as your agent, a buyer's agent, as you move along. I recommend you bring me in early in the process. It just doesn't cost you anything to have an advocate, an advisor working with you and for you, saving your time, hopefully saving your money because eventually you'll need to negotiate the purchase and I look forward to helping you with that. So thank you very much and uh, please call, please email. I look forward to meeting with you.